Hey scientists, thanks for joining Simon and I today as we do another really fun experiment. Today's experiment is going to be an engineering experiment where we make a solar oven. This oven can actually warm up and cook things if you do it in the summer. Right in the middle of the day is the best time. And it is part of our summer STEM activity book. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, there's a link down below. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get in the kitchen and we're gonna get started with this. So here we are in my kitchen and we're gonna get ready to make our solar oven. I have a few supplies here. They're all listed in our experiment guide from the summer steam experiment book. The first thing I'm going to do is measure an inch around three sides of this box that I have. And you'll see why in a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and just cut out three sides. I do not wanna cut along the side where the box creases and opens because I'm going to need that to keep our lid on the box. But you can see here that I have cut out some flaps and next we're going to cover everything in tin foil. So I have my kids here with me today. We're making a solar oven and they're gonna help me cover everything in tin foil. And what that is going to do is reflect any of the light that hits this tin foil back into our oven. And light is full of energy that can be converted into heat. And that's how our solar oven works, is the light from the sun comes down, it gets bounced into our solar oven. There's black paper on the bottom and that absorbs heat. And so that will absorb it. And you'll see in a moment, we'll put some saran wrap over it, which will keep the heat in. So now that everything is covered with our tin foil, we're just gonna get our yummy treats in here that we wanna heat up. We are doing s'mores. So we have one side with a chocolate and another side with a marshmallow, and then we'll go ahead and mix them together for our yummy s'more. You can see we're taping down our saran wrap. We want it nice and tight and snug so none of the heat escapes. And then we're gonna just tape down this extra flap of the box to make sure everything is in there tight. And the last step is to take a wooden skewer or a popsicle stick and just prop up that lid so that it is at an angle reflecting the sunlight in. You can see we have Simon here. He likes to come outside with us and is kind of curious what we're doing here. He loves eating that clover there. And you can see our oven got to 140 degrees, which isn't enough to cook meat or something, but it was enough to melt our chocolate. Our marshmallow got quite soft. It wasn't as stretchy as I had hoped, but it did get um, a little bit soft and melted. And there you have it. That is our s'more and it was delicious and it was a really fun experiment to do. Thanks for joining Simon and I today as we made our fun solar oven. I hope that yours worked for you and let me know in the comments below, did you melt chocolate or marshmallows or cheese on chips? I would love to know how you used your solar oven and how it worked out for you. Thanks so much for joining us and until next time, keep discovering.